Mazda CX-9 2010 model. I think this is applicable maybe 2008 to 2011, but we're doing the door handle uh, entry button removal installation. All right, I've removed the door panel. It's pretty easy. That silver panel that goes across the door, you might have black wood grain or uh, brushed aluminum. Uh, it just pulls up. Just kind of grab it here and pry it with your nail. Really, it's all I did. And once it pops, it'll just pop, 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 pop. You know, obviously, don't just bend it. And you'll see there's a screw down in there and then a screw there. And then there's a plastic piece that, go in, that goes inside the handle. You'll remove that and remove that screw. You do that, you'll remove the connectors. They're pretty simple. A little bit late. <laughs> My battery died. But anyway. So what I did was I just took all the bolts off that go around the entire periphery of this inner panel. It's all I've done. And then you have one, one bolt there and one bolt there that are just castellated nuts that you take off that connect to the window pane. This whole piece will come down and it will come down with the window as well. And then you can just kind of let it hang there. Uh, I didn't see anything else except for uh, this right here needed to come out. It goes up here to your, I guess, if, uh, to your, for your mirror, for your power mirrors. Just had to pull that out right here and lay that off to the side so that this, because it's connected to this inner door panel, so the door panel would come down. Panel, this is the cable with the little red, the rubber button on the door handle we're trying to get to and if you go in there you can kind of see that bolt that goes to the door handle right in there that 10 millimeter bolt and there's another one on the other side of the handle so you'll have one 10 millimeter bolt here and then one right there and we're going to take those off and then inside there can't even see where those two rods there's just plastic clips that hold those L rods into the door handle which are the levers that are, go to the motor to lock and unlock the door and those are those are pretty simple to come off oh got it out as you can see this slides in there and this just kind of gets wiggled in there you can see the lock I kind of dropped the lock and kind of hoping I can just add, put that back in there and rotate it properly and install it. There's just those two 10 millimeter bolts. Now this line on the interior of the door, and let me show you where actually. On the in, so this, this cord right here goes in and actually right here where this black dot is, so if you can imagine inside the door, there's actually a metal U-shaped clip that this line just kind of hooks into. And if you don't unhook it, there'll be tension on the harness to the door handle and uh, you won't be able to get that door handle. You'll think it's like, you know, metal to metal that's keeping it from coming out, but it's actually that harness is taut. So make sure you just kind of, you just pick up and pull it out of that hook. So that sensor inside has two screws, that silver one and that rusty one. All right, so here is it removed, got the two screws out. Comes out, there's like this little plastic cover here that kind of goes over top of it. Itself, there's a cord for the door handle and it's black. The, the insulation on the cable is black. And another one and it's a, I guess a grayish brown. And that's the lower one and the black one's the upper one. Try not to mix those up because they actually come cross. So you would think, oh, I need to align these, but that's actually not true. You need to keep them crossed, just FYI.